Hello YouTube, um, welcome back. Um, I have been getting a lot of requests for having um, a tour of my houses and I only have three. Um, I'm going to begin starting at the Celestian Observatory, but before I go over that, let me run back for, to a few things. Um, number one, I haven't been making videos because it's kind of hard transitioning from a Windows computer to a Mac laptop, having to find a better software, you know, for recording my videos. Then again, having to wait out for, you know, the Wizard 101 for the Mac to come out. And a lot of people have been complaining, but I have found that it works smoothly and more, um, consistent than on a Windows computer. That's in my opinion. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this house tour. And I have a white porter here, but I'm not going to use it yet. And the Celestine Observatory is by far, I think, the most valuable house because, um... It does require a lot of coins for reagents. It does require a lot of energy and time because not everything you can either craft or farm or well you can farm but a lot of the things here you have to like craft them and it does take a lot of work. So let's start off by going to our little out outer room which is like the moon pool and I just kind of like decorated it. I love the Celestian um, world. It is by far my most favorite because I love water. I love like undersea things. And I do love the space and all that nice pretty stuff. So here's the sunroom. And I put a bunch of little Celestian pots here in Unicorn Statue. Um, the Unicorn Statue I bought in the crown shop with coins. Um, I think it was either like 5,000 or 7,000 coins, but I pretty much think it was worth it. And people keep asking over and over, does it come with a PvP ring? This is about the only house within the game that you don't have to buy from a card pack that does include a PvP ring. The downside is it does take a lot of time to craft, and it is very hard to craft. But... If you're a person who's not willing to spend money, you might as well want to um, go ahead and get this house. Um, I just have like a few little trinkets out here. Here's some Celestian statue and some unicorn statues. I just love the overall theme with this. I think the unicorn statue complements everything in here. Um, an Avalon rug. And we're going to head inside the house. Here's a few trees. If you look up, it's a beautiful view. I have seen some houses where they do the rug glitch and they go all the way out into space until they almost hit that moon or planet. And it is very beautiful. Um, if you look up, there's the stars. Excuse me for the, um, for the little Pegasus getting in the way. And yeah, I'm taking away all this stuff so you can see much better. Um, yeah, so let's go right inside the house, and I'll give you a tour in there. Okay, so this is like the beginning of the house. This is the entry room. This is where you will first come in. I decided to put some vases and some ferns. I really love plants. Water fountains and power converter. This is a Celestian power converter. And, you know, I just love this theme. I really wanted this house. When I got my membership back in December, I began crafting this house and I didn't finish until February. So if you don't have any idea how long that took, that really took me a long time having to gather everything. And it really helps if you keep a list of reagents that you need to collect and mark them off one by one. It does seem a little um, time consuming, but for me, I think it's very very helpful. I have some Celestian, Celestian things up here like the tree strip um tree sprigs. I got this um fireplace I think it was from Azteca and some more unicorn statues. So now we're gonna go up another step and here comes the sunroom. Each room does have a theme. I'm not sure if you can install your own wallpaper but I'm gonna begin by doing that now. Oh I don't have any wallpaper or anything, but I'll do a later video of that. 
Um, here's the final room. This is the observatory. It's full on glass. You can look out and see space and stars. Um, I basically just wanted to put some trees up here. I've seen someone do that in their video and I thought it was just beautiful. And so I decided to do the same thing. Um, this toadstool over here. I don't know if I can get to it. Yeah, I can. Um, I got that from Avalon and the rest of the stuff mostly comes from the bazaar. I just kind of like farm around and I'll look for things that kind of match the house. And that's pretty much my house. Um, I'll make another video where I PvP with my sister. She's a level, I forgot, I think it's 40 or 41. She's a level 40 or 41 um, life student and her secondary school is Myth. Um, if anyone is wondering, my secondary school is ICE, but, you know, being a member for quite a bit of time and doing a lot of quests, I'm very training point hungry, so I tried to get as much training points as possible so I can get the Seder spell, and that's pretty much all I wanted. I just wanted the Seder spell, so I wasted all my training points. But yeah, that's my house, the Celebrity Observatory. I'm going to make another video, another two videos for the other two houses I have. And yeah, this is it. And thank you for watching, YouTube. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, please do comment. I love reading comments. I love getting messages in my inbox. And um, I'm always around... So if anyone just happens to see me on a Pegasus, um, do shout out and we can possibly make a video together. And I will continue making videos and putting them up because I have been delaying too long. As you see, my last video was me in my 25th level, or was it 29th, um, as a balanced student. And I have very much improved. And... Yeah, thank you so much for watching and tune in next time.